China has built some amazing big projects that look like they come from a storybook. We're going to see some of these amazing places that will surprise you with how big and creative they are. Get ready. We will show you roads that change into airplane runways and huge dams. These big projects help a lot of people in China and change the way the country looks. But wait, we have something special for you. Come join our group of curious and creative people by following Top Visionary. This way, you won't miss out on amazing stories about what people can do. Are you excited to see these huge projects in China? Hit the subscribe button and join us on this amazing video. The Bayanjiang Bridge is a marvel of engineering soaring high above the ground with its impressive height of 565 meters. Imagine a bridge so tall that if you stack the Empire State Building beneath it, there'd still be space left over for an airplane to fly under. This colossal structure not only dwarfs many skyscrapers, but also transforms the way people travel between the mountainous regions of Sichuan and Chongqing, cutting down a four-hour drive into a mere moment. Driving on the Bayanjiang Bridge is like an adventure in the sky. It's so high that it's often surrounded by a sea of clouds, making every trip across it feel magical, as if you're gliding through the heavens. This isn't just any bridge. It's a pivotal development for the area, bringing communities closer and boosting local economies. In Guizhou province, where this towering bridge stands, there seems to be a love for reaching great heights. It's home to three of the world's highest bridges, suggesting a local ambition to keep pushing the boundaries of bridge building. Constructing the Bayanjiang Bridge was a complex challenge, requiring builders to cleverly work around natural obstacles like caves and the uneven terrain of the karst mountains. It's a testament to human ingenuity and determination, rising above physical and geographical limitations. Each curve and cable of the bridge tells a story of overcoming difficulties, as the architects and engineers had to think creatively to execute such an ambitious project. The Bayanjiang Bridge isn't just a way to get from point A to point B, it's a landmark that marks the progress of a nation and the boundless potential of human achievement. Let's clear up something. Being the highest and the tallest bridge are different things. The Bayanjiang Bridge in China is the highest because its road deck is far above the ground, but the Milo Viaduct in France is the tallest because its towers stretch higher. It's an interesting fact in the world of building big things, but China does more than just build bridges. They're also making huge underwater tunnels that are quite impressive. These projects take us deep underwater and high into the sky, showing just how much China is pushing the limits of building. One amazing tunnel is the Taihu Tunnel. In just four years, with a lot of money spent, Chinese engineers made something amazing. They dug a tunnel under Taihu Lake, which is the longest and widest of its kind in China. Now people can drive under the lake in only eight minutes, which is very quick. Instead of a bridge that could change the lake's natural beauty, they chose to build this tunnel, which is almost 11 kilometers long. It's like a hidden path under the water, one of the longest tunnels out there. It helps avoid traffic jams too. The tunnel is always quiet and still, unlike the bridge that has to deal with weather. To keep drivers alert and happy, they've put in thousands of lights inside, making a drive through the tunnel a bit like going through a light show. Building tunnels like this isn't easy. For example, the Channel Tunnel between France and England was dug under the seabed. But for the Taihu Tunnel, they pushed the water out to build in a dry space. They even hid the air vents in clever ways, like making them look like a small island a statue, and an old boat. It's like they're playing a big game of hide-and-seek with the tunnel's features. The Taihu Tunnel is cool, but it's not the longest road tunnel on Earth. That title goes to the Lerdal Tunnel in Norway. But China has big plans. They want to build a super long train tunnel, over 100 kilometers long, that would make all other tunnels seem small. This tunnel will be part of China's fast train system. China is doing amazing things with trains. They're like the superheroes of travel, making trips super quick. Imagine going underwater on a train, speeding through tunnels with cool lights and secret air holes that look like art. With China's fast trains, you can zoom 200 kilometers from Hangzhou to Shanghai in just 45 minutes. It's so fast, it almost feels like magic, and you get snacks too. A long trip from Beijing to Guangzhou used to take a whole day, but now it's just eight hours. It's like hopping into the future. Since 2009, China has laid down so many tracks, it could almost wrap around the whole world. They're building so much, so fast. 
like they can't stop. And they're even building train lines for cities that aren't built yet, planning ahead like the old Europeans did. China is always thinking about the next step moving forward fast. But it's not all about speed. China cares about making things better and smarter, not just faster. They're always looking to the future. China is taking train rides into the future with their amazing driverless bullet train. It's the first of its kind in the world and shows how China loves to try new things. While Japan has super fast trains, China is making bigger train systems that go everywhere, even through hot deserts and cold snowy places. They're like train heroes going places that are really tough to build in. Take the Zhengzhou East Railway Station, for example. It's a huge place for catching trains in Henan province and it's really busy. This station is as big as a whole city and is a key spot for high-speed trains going to big cities like Beijing, Guangzhou, and Wuhan. When it opened in 2012, it was a big hit with lots of train lines and platforms. The station looks like something from a sci-fi movie with lots of glass, steel, and cool lights. Everything is modern, including how you buy tickets. They spent a lot of money making it, $28 billion, but it was worth it because it makes travel so much easier and nicer for people. The Zhengzhou East Railway Station isn't just a regular train station. It's like a bustling center where people getting on and off trains mix smoothly. It's a place that shows off what modern travel is like with its fast service and cool futuristic design. If you like traveling, new technology, or just cool places, this station is the place to be. It's more than a station. It's a new way to start your travel adventures. China isn't stopping at trains and buildings. They're also looking up at the stars and joining the space exploration race. They're right up there with countries like the USA and Russia, pushing hard to be leaders in space too. Now, let's talk about their big radio telescope. China built a huge one. An astronomer named Nan Rendong thought the small telescopes they had were too little. He wanted something much, much bigger. It took 10 years to find the right place to build this giant telescope. They picked a natural bowl-shaped area in a valley that could hold the telescope's heavy weight and deal with rainwater well. In 2016, after working and planning carefully for 20 years, China completed this huge telescope. It's set up in a quiet, far-off place, and it's ready to look deep into space. It's a big leap in their journey to understand the universe. China finished building the biggest telescope in the world. It's huge like a giant dish 500 meters across. It looks like a big silver dish floating in the sky, catching signals from space. As China has grown a lot in the last 30 years, they need more power for everything. They used to get most of their power from coal or oil, but now they are looking for new ways to make electricity without polluting so much. These new ways can cost a lot, starting from $3.3 billion. In 1990, China started its own nuclear power station in Qinshan, Zhejiang province. This wasn't just one building. It grew into a big complex with different parts using different types of technology to create power from atoms. They have many reactors, including ones with pressurized water, ones with heavy water, and very modern ones with advanced technology. China has many types of reactors because they like to try out different ways to make power. They don't just copy what others do, they add their own ideas. But making new reactors like the ones they already have would cost a lot more now. The Qinshan nuclear power station is huge, almost like a little town, and it covers an area of 10.2 square kilometers. It's really powerful, making 4,000 megawatts of electricity. That's enough to run millions of homes. China wants to keep improving this power station and use what they learn to make more around the country. They're planning for the future trying to make sure they have enough power for at least the next 50 years. But it's not only about more power. They want cleaner power that doesn't pollute to help fight against global warming. If you're interested in technology or care about Earth, keep an eye on China's work with nuclear power. They're not just making electricity. They're trying to make a future that's safe for the planet. Thank you for following this information about China's big building projects. If you want to hear about more amazing big builds, just let us know in the comments. We're always excited to share more information.